Hello and welcome to The Rock. We're back at The Rock after doing an Xfinity race here. Seems the trucks are here this week as well. And I'm happy about it because I love this place. I actually, after having that rough Xfinity race, well it wasn't rough. It was disappointing. Um, disappointing race in Xfinity where I had led some laps and then the bad uh, strategy decision ended uh, ended up with me finishing about mid-pack. I gave it another try on my own time and I won the race. So uh, feeling pretty good about that considering, uh, let me focus here a little bit, considering how disappointed I was with the first attempt, but was able to not defeat myself second time around and uh, it really worked out it was flag to flag you know no cautions great race and I'm going to try to hit a good lap here um, and uh, with just barely able to hold off some guys who pit a little later than me as they were flying up on me on better tires at the end of that one, so. Try to do our best here. Looks like the first lap was a little bit faster. Um, a little disappointed. I feel like I probably could have gotten into the sevens again. That's where I was in practice, where I got my best lap, but I don't think that's too bad. Uh, so Xfinity went really well. Um, the only thing that was wrong with that first race was my bad pit decision. It was still a fun race for Xfinity, and so hopefully trucks will be the, the same here. But uh, I don't know if, if I'm going to be as successful with saving tires. I feel like I've got okay uh, qualifying speed. I certainly don't have a 23.5, but okay qualifying speed. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, bring it long run like I was in the Xfinity car. Because that one I felt like I could get some good rotation on the brakes and uh, not overdrive it as much. This one seems like it's really trying to get on the right rear despite my best efforts. So it could be a little bit tougher to keep the keep this one happy. But we're gonna give it a go. See what we can get out of this. And uh... Obviously, that's going to be important here at The Rock. Always uh, important to keep the tires happy here. It can make a huge difference. So we'll practice green flag pit stops just in case we get it. A um, couple names I'm a tiny bit concerned about. But maybe we will still have ourselves some good long green runs. And uh, maybe even get some green flag pit stops. I feel like I'm ready. I wasn't the fastest in the world, but I feel like I can competently get onto pit road without too much concern. Right now we're P3. It is Saturday night at the moment. 2.6 strength of field. So, not so bad. The second Xfinity race I did... After the first one was like in the 3,000 strength of field, I believe. The next one was like 2.7, the one that I ended up winning. So right around where we are right here, but feeling a little less confident. I did get the pole in that in that race as well. Was very happy with how the OSR setup felt with Xfinity this week. And it was able to do everything I needed it to do. Again, with uh, OSR here. And... Uh, it, it at least seems like I can get somewhat solid of a Q-lap. We'll see how it is on long runs. Obviously, I'm not going to push that hard, but... did shave off a couple of percentages just in those couple of laps. So we'll have to be smart about it. What are we waiting on? The four and the five. Oh, and that guy's not here, so we're going to just have to wait no matter what. Okay. Interesting, interesting. We've got a spotter. Very neat. It looks like the one truck is starting from the back. He is readied up. Let's see if he's able to do so without uh, running into anybody. Always something to keep an eye on when you got someone that you know is real fast who has to make his way through the field. 
And we are just about ready to go, making sure I've got everything how I want it. Tape should be fine. I upped it just a tiny bit. I put my brake bias pretty far back for what I normally do in the truck, just trying to get as much rotation as I can out of this thing. Like I said, I wasn't getting quite as much as I was hoping I would get. One lap to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Close, pit road is closed. So doing what I can to try to help with that. I really try to focus on not turning the wheel as much. But that's going to be challenged, so we'll see how it goes. I'll have the dash up just in case. But I wasn't getting uh, any temperatures problems short run. And with how quickly the tires fall off, I imagine it's going to be even less of an issue as time goes on. So I don't think that's going to be much of a concern, but we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. I almost feel like with a little more testing, I might have been more comfortable putting it up even more. Again, we've got 66%, so we'll see how I feel about that statement later. But haven't even been really warned by my crew chief about the temperatures getting hot or anything. So I think P3 is a pretty good starting spot. At least I'm not P2, like always. Seems like I'm always starting P2 and having to do the look left and right thing. And now we've got the Gatorade right in front of us that we can watch as they get their jump. And they are very fast, at least for qualifying. So they might not be a bad person to watch, see how they're doing what they're doing. On the green at Rockingham here. In the inside I feel like this is kind of borderline. You could probably, they probably could have gone either way with one or two laps. But one lap here, so we'll have to make sure we're ready. Is this first gear? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's looking like we might get spun tires if we're not careful. So we better uh, be ready for that. I'll save half a lap of fuel, maybe. Oh, that's actually, that would be really great if I could save that much, but I'll save just a little bit of fuel. I meant more so, I'll, like, coast for half a lap here. Nice truck, Dylan. Thank you. Gatorade truck getting some praise. <laughs> Good luck, man. I hope this first gear start's not a bad idea. Seems like where I want to be. But I uh, don't want to break loose, so... Hmm. Might be second gear, actually. Wasn't sure if I had someone on my outside. Got pretty loose there. Definitely have to be careful. We got room around us. I really like that. Trying to get rotation without turning the wheel. It's it's a bit of a task, but I'm giving it my best effort here. Guy behind seems like he's a little more eager to go, so I'll let him have it. He doesn't run me over first. Kind of just have to trust him right now. I don't want to be going side by side with him or anything. Okay. Gets a nose on us in the right place, so we can just let him go. I'm going to focus long run. He's getting loose. Alright, that's why I don't want to let people go for no reason. Because <laughs> he's going to be slowing me down if he's going to keep getting loose all, all the time. It's a little annoying. Better go if you're going to pass me. 
Can you use that while he's not? Six. <laughs> you can let off. Great, you don't have to turn to the left to let off. Jesus Christ. Okay, Colton. One encountering troubles coming through the field. Seems inevitable whenever that happens. You got guys in the back that aren't quite as fast. Usually going to be troubles in a situation like that, so. Too surprising. One getting all the way up on my rear end, getting me loose. I was able to counter steer out of that, and I'll let him have it here. Four just being really aggressive, sending it in. It's fine. I'm focusing long run right now. I just feel like I have to, I have to make a special effort because this thing isn't driving too loose at the moment. It's driving pretty tight. So if I want to be contending near the end of this race, I have to uh, make sure I'm taking care of it now. Man, when they get on my rear end like that, that really starts getting it unsettled. Don't think it's in my head. I think it's actually happening. Seems like it happens a lot of time in this truck, but... Got about a second back to the guy behind the five, who's on our rear end. Set up a pass if he wants to go around. I'm just going to run my line. That was a It's a pretty stupid place to stick his nose if he's trying to pass like that, because obviously I'm doing a cut down line. Oil temperature going up, apparently, so I'm glad I'm keeping an eye on that. You've just done a 24.6. Inside. Clear inside. Turn 2 is just a really stupid place to try to pass. He's, if he wants to pass, he should really set it up by entering high and then cutting down. Say so turn two is probably the absolute worst place to try to pass on this whole place. In this whole place. I'm just gonna have to let him go probably, because otherwise he's just gonna keep sticking his nose down there. Expecting a different result one of these times. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. That's fine. I mean, it, it looks like he's falling back a little bit now, maybe. Good I don't know. See, I just I don't want to let him go and then have him be a roadblock in front of me either. V6. Where is he going? He's just going to run in the back of me. He's really concerning, though. Try to go on the outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Go ahead. Clear. Yeah, lap traffic already? That's surprising. There must have been some sort of issue at some point, maybe. Because I thought I saw someone leave already as well. Thankfully, no caution for whatever might have happened, but he is sitting directly in the racing line. So that's not fantastic. What is he doing? Not even fading out from the wall on exit. Well, that was kind of scary. But we're okay. Still just doing what I feel like I need to be doing here. I've got some distance up there, but it's also only lap 16 still. It's hard into the wall. Another bonus of not pushing it very hard. Less risk of doing that. 
So he tries all that time, tries that hard to pass me, and then we just get by him again because he hits the wall one time. This game plan's not working out so well so far. Temperatures are okay, as I assume we are falling off a little bit with tire wear and such. So, shouldn't have anything to worry about there as I expected. Truck still feels pretty good, feeling okay. And a little bit of rotation mid to late corner, which I'm happy about. Feels like I'm doing something right there. We'll see how much we can reel them in. Hopefully, uh, all the way. Kind of just trusting that, uh, the speed will come back to me if I'm hitting consistent, gradually gentle laps here. I guess is a weird way of saying, but saying what I'm trying to say. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. I believe we're catching up to the nine, at least. At least based on the relative I've seen the past lap or two. Eh, about holding even, maybe. We have another lap truck coming up in the 16. Sixth place, though. Even, uh, even with this long run plan, sixth place is not bad at all. I am the three truck, but... Sixth place is sixth place. That's not so bad at all, in my eyes. Unless it's a six car race or something, <laughs> which it's not, so we're good. <laughs> to get around the 16 here, coming up fast. Make sure I know where he's gonna be. Car outside. Clear high. You didn't quite get all the way back up so I could get the best angle into the corner, but that's okay. Three seconds or so is ahead still. a little bit loose on exit maybe just a tiny bit be good though better than tight pit windows open I think if anything I'm gonna end up going long though because I'm being so gentle right now picking it at a gradual pace if anything I would let people uh, pit a little bit maybe bring out a caution trying to get in there before I try heading in myself. That lap time was 25.2. Not sure how we're uh, doing compared to the leaders and stuff. They might be able to be fast and still be more on the right rear would really help them out. I don't seem to be able to do that 
maybe the setup can. I don't know if it's a setup thing or not. It could just be I have not figured out how to run it properly. But I'm feeling if I don't want to be all the way on the right front killing it, I'm going to have to be about this pace. Not even really catching up to that nine, kind of just holding even at about three seconds. Maybe I pick up the pace a little bit, but only a little bit. I feel like I can attack turns one and two a little bit more and probably still not be too hard on it. Try to do that a little bit. I think the 9 might have had trouble with that lap truck or something. I wasn't paying attention, but he did lose a little bit of time. He's focused on hitting my marks right now. Driving in harder than one. Starts feeling good. The bang can carry me a little bit. Oh no. It's rolling around him. Oh, that sucks. It's just start to pay off, and then we get a caution. It's bouncing off of each other in the corner, looked like. Well, I guess we'll get caught up and get some tires. Should be able to make it in the unknown fuel. Unfortunately, that means, that means uh, no green flag pit stops, which is unfortunate. The leader, Jones, is pitting. Hanging back for some reason. What the, the fuck are we the doing? Miles per hour. Okay, Colton, we'll pull you to the end. Go! I'm getting passed on pit road. Pitbox team, in. For Christ's right. sake, man. Three, two, one. Right here. I don't know why people drive three miles an hour under, but that's frustrating. We're probably going to get beat out of pit road by whoever that was now. On my inside. Okay, punch it. We're not. I guess we're okay. Get on fuel. It's fine. You got loads. Yes, we are. It's fine. You got loads. So we uh, came in in sixth place. Four course yellow, pits are open. I think we might still cycle out sixth place. It's a little bit of confusion going on right, right now at the moment. Interestingly, 
Wasn't it? No, it wasn't the four. It was the five that was on our inside, I think, wasn't it? On pit road? Yeah. They have the same setup shop paint, so that's why I got them confused. I guess we're in fifth, actually. Okay. So I guess the five had trouble. I don't know, was he in that, maybe? I don't know. Maybe he had a penalty or something? Because he did pass me, I believe. No, he had hit, hit the wall, didn't he? Isn't he the guy that I passed because he hit the wall? I think it was. So we'll be on the inside. I'm going to go a little bit harder this time. Felt like it wasn't paying off enough. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Soon enough. At the end of this lap. Gonna do second gear start this time as well. No, maybe not. I think I have to do first gear start. Got yeah, people like <laughs> in turn three right now. It's interesting. I think I'm gonna do first gear. It's just way too slow to launch. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm to, let's go. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm gonna take the air off you. Damn, dude. About to go green. Something's Stay happening on a caution. Off. Green, green, green. You're in All right. Yeah, that was that was decent. I'm happy with that. A little bit of bumping maybe ahead. I figure it out. Somehow I have like a second behind us already. That's interesting. Oh, okay. Saves it. Okay, well, we just passed two people and the wrecking back there. Wow, okay. Definitely thought I was going to get hit in the door by a truck sliding whatever direction. But we survive. Oh, just gained two spots. Up All right. Up high, trying to go low. I, I was still down there, dude. Like you gotta clear me before you dive it down into the bottom of the corner. Whoever spun there really should have just held the brake instead of keep trying to save it, swinging all over the track. You know, that's not so big. But anyway. Yeah, that is what that looked like. I think they just kept saving it until they finally spun it right in front of the big pack that was a second behind us. Which didn't really work out too well for anybody. Except for me. I'm in third now. Um, I'm in second now? Okay. <laughs> Tim goes down there. Okay, I guess he's good. Give him some extra space in case he's not able to see where uh, anybody else is too. Tires should should be uh, just fine, obviously. Barely did anything there. I'm actually quite surprised the left sides after that long run to start the race. 95-94. This might be a right sides opportunity here. Given uh, the right situation, even 85 uh, is not so bad. And I feel like I did a pretty good job, too. Look at that, 85-85. But it just it wasn't paying off enough for me. I don't know if I was ever going to be able to crawl back to him before we reached about halfway and uh, people started pitting. So that's why I want to go a little harder. Maybe I'll have to offset it by trying to get on the right rear a little bit more when I'm able to do that. That's just, that's going to be so tough. Maybe we'll do a little bit more brake bias back. 
I haven't really felt like it's turning too much on brakes, so I guess we'll go for that. I think you have to do first gear and just be gentle with it. Uh, it was pretty, it's pretty uncomfortable, but it seems like I got good enough of a launch. So I'll just have to be, I'll have to be careful with that, but it seems like it might be the right way to go about it. Coming to one to green. Okay, and we'll watch Jeff Gordon, I guess. Here on the inside lane, starting us off. Just a little bit more than halfway to go. I like that we have a lot of A4 point somethings around us. Lots of 4.9s even. I guess we feel a little more comfortable, but I think we had some good safety ratings crash just a moment ago too. I don't remember what they were, but still can happen, obviously. Send the first gear. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 back in third, keep hustling. Keep that out. Guess this guy's passing. Not trying to do side by side right now. Treat it like Darlington, especially if we were entering uh, turn one, because I do not want to be side by side in turn two. Again, pretty uh, reminiscent of Darlington. Don't want to be side by side in turn two there as well. Wow, the uh, seven's just gonna get in the back of the guy ahead, apparently. He's not trying to save tires, I don't think. I'm extra glad I got him by me now. If he's gonna be nearly running into the back of guys. Try to keep up with their pace just a little bit more this time. My head caught me a bunch mid corner. Right. Just gonna have to keep an eye on that. At least maybe I can use a little bit of the oversteer I'm getting from his nose being back there. <laughs> maybe. Help me get some rotation, huh? Probably too much, but maybe help out a little bit. This guy's wrecked me before too, by the way. So when he invent and he uh, inevitably does it again, just uh, I won't be surprised. He's setting up a pass though. I think in the wall maybe, but. Potentially setting up a pass, so he plans on doing it the right way instead of just running into the back of me. All right, Colton, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. I'm not even gonna fight it, so hopefully he is capable of just getting the nose on me. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Officially halfway. I think we were actually last lap, but well. There was more people insisting on sticking their nose in freaking turn two. Worst place on the track to do that, but just uh, you can't set up a pass without hitting the wall, so I guess gotta do it there. 
It's fine. Figured it out. Trying to get on the right rear more out of turn two. Just getting the truck slowed down enough. Get smoke. Lap traffic having trouble maybe. Okay, really slow. Is he really gonna be on the apex? Way off pace, are you kidding me? Uh, okay. He's just driving directly in the racing line 20 miles an hour off pace. Everybody's okay though. So far. The four trying to turn it into a passing opportunity and instead gonna run into the left rear of that guy. You've just done a 24.8. Outside. Outside clear. Okay, way off pace. I'm pretty content with where I am right now. If they pull away that a little bit, that's fine. The only way I'm going to really compete with them, for the most part, is if I have better tires. So I'm going to try to just stick to my consistent pace. A little faster than last time, but just try to keep it pretty consistent. Let them keep running into each other, because they seem to be doing a lot of that. Wow. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> that sucks. I only have two sets of tires left. I think we have to come in, though. place like this, you gotta come in. And, uh... Well, when I stayed out... With X Xfinity, we saw what happened there, so I assume if, uh, as long as they're pitting, it's best if I do as well. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Watch your speed. The leader, Torres, is pitting. You've got loads of fuel. Not going to take right sides. I don't necessarily want to be in front of these guys anyway, even though the left sides are probably looking pretty good right now. Pitboxing, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. Wow, look at that. We were actually on the right rear. Okay, that makes me pretty feel pretty good. Obviously, that's really early. Oops. Obviously, really early in the run, but... You only have one tire set remaining. They want you and uh, usually miles. it's easier to be on the right rear while the tires are still cold than new. You do that on purpose or? What happened? Catch stop, seven. Just time. I didn't hear what he said. Full course yellow, pits are open. Where are those guys? We lost two people. Huh. That's kind of weird. Maybe fixing damage or something? I don't know. But we lost uh, the two and the four. You guys got uh, one to go or... Interesting. So we'll be P3 then, I guess. I don't know what this 14 is doing. Oh, they're all waiting for wave around. Okay, I see. Or maybe not. That that guy right there is not, but <laughs> other guys are. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the. All right, looking pretty familiar. Start behind Jeff Gordon again. <laughs> I 
I remember the one, whenever he started in the back, he moved up the field really fast, so I imagine the two and the four probably are going to be able to do that as well. If they're trying. So I, I imagine it's not going to be too long before we see them again. I'll probably just have to let him go. First gear. We'll have 40 to go. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is off. Be ready. A little bit of tire spin. Definitely have to be careful. We're okay. Outside. Go low. Go low. It's driving hard. He wants the spot real bad so he can have it, I guess. Still not in that much of a hurry. Come on, man. Pit road is closed. This car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero Get five. five. Yeah. We can see hmm. has gone off. Sounds like the four might have had trouble. It's always going to be a risk coming through the field in any open. situation. Pits are open. I see the two. He's, I assume, fine. But I bet the uh, four, just trying to force his way through in as little time as possible, might have had trouble. Maybe not. I thought maybe he was saying something, though. Looked like he queued up the mic for a moment. I assume that meant he was in it somehow, but maybe not. Oh, the two's taking blame for something. Interesting. Didn't quite expect that. We'll see everything that happened uh, in the race later, of course, and the incidents. Assuming they'll show up. I imagine if there was any contact there, though, it would. But uh, with each of these cautions, eats away some more laps. Less tire saving needed. I wish we could go green though. It was a good run to start the race. And then now it seems like once we got all bunched back together, now we're just uh, running into each other. Which is too bad. Unfortunate. So the two already showing up on the relative. He'll be uh, on his way pretty quick, as before. I think the four was still pretty nearby. Yep. I actually don't have very many people left out here on the lead lap, do we? I wonder if there might have been a pretty big wreck at some point, because we had, what, 17 people to start this race. 18. 18 to start this race, and we're already down to, let's see. 13 on the lead lap. So we've lost five off the lead lap for one reason or another. Definitely don't have to worry about overheating if we're going to be doing our laps at 52 miles an hour. But feeling pretty good about maybe a Top five, at least top six, it looked like we had that locked down. That all could change if we get really ugly late caution or something or get caught up in something these guys do in front of us. So they, uh, they have not been afraid to touch bumpers a little bit, bang doors. So we'll have to keep an eye out. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in this race, but it's true. Yeah, five's got some nose damage, I think. Yeah, it's a little crinkled up there. I don't know if that's from when he hit the wall. What? Also, he doesn't actually have the same paint scheme as the other guy. I thought he did. But it turns out, I am just loony. And probably focusing on driving instead of paint schemes, which is actually for the best. Starting on the outside, though, I believe this might be the first time we've started on the outside. I 
be first gear again. Hopefully we'll be able to grip it up. About to go green, stay focused. Someone's back a little bit on the leader. The pace car is off, be ready. I'm not very great at starts. Really? No, I get it. Are you serious? Hey, hey guys, is this an open class? Because he's on runner six, and holy Where's shit. Where's the 17 going? Yeah, I don't know, man. No, it's a 55 class. Caution came out, and I was about to overheat from all that green. The pace car is out. Line up single file. Oh, I don't know why the 17 decided to pass me after the yellow came out, but we're waiting for the pace car now. <sighs> How do you even crash that quickly? I guess maybe someone spun tires. Hey, three car, we need you up here. What, what are we doing, Jack? I don't know what he's talking about. Three car, we need you up here. Yeah, guess what? We're waiting for the pace car. So if you crash that quick, it gets a little weird with scoring. And you gotta wait at the line. I think you might even get penalties if you cross it like the four did. Maybe not. I would like the race at some point. That much is true. Pit road is closed. <sighs> so back and forth, nothing has changed. And less laps that we need to save tires. I feel like saving tires was my one <laughs> way to actually have a chance, maybe? I don't know, maybe that's not true. I'm pretty fast on the short run. We got, we qualified third after all. I think maybe long run actually might be my problem because I actually have to go slow in order to protect the tires, whereas other guys can kind of yaw it out or something. It'd still be fast while saving tires, so maybe that's actually good for us. I don't know. Thank goodness these uh, these uh, caution laps are pretty quick around Rockingham, though. If we're gonna get the double special, two for one special cautions. One to go. Next time by. It's actually go green this time, maybe. Oh. <sighs> And we race now. <laughs> it's going to be 31 to go. Get ready, going green. 
Well, let's try to make it to the back stretch this time. Let's get it. I'm gonna turn one this time. Tight carries off. Flag, flag. Yeah, it's a second gear start, I think. Car Where that guy's going, I don't like it though. Guy looking like he's gonna go pass on the outside. Didn't really expect to be passing the eight there, but that's what ended up happening. A little scary. We're okay though. Get back in Fastest lap for Jones, 23.9. hit the apron up there. It's gonna self spin in front of me. I'm not gonna battle him though. He's obviously wanting to go faster than me. It doesn't benefit me to get side by side with him. Just like him to figure it out, please. More apron. Got some apron happy trucks up ahead. I almost got the wall. Became a wall happy truck. That lap was at twenty four point five. This thing's pretty loose. Guess the tires got real cold sitting around for so long. Going low speeds. Plus I got used to older tires the whole first run. Sixth place. Pretty much where I expected to be once things sorted Sixth out a little bit. Considering he was behind us and in front of us. Okay, Walter. What's your oil temperature? It's pretty high. Oil temp getting high. Apparently. A little bit of nose push right there. Sent me up the track just a bit. All it needed was a little bit more care on the throttle to make sure I didn't push up further. Everything's good. P2 battle's heating up. They're getting real close. Sure, that's exactly what the leader in front of him wants to see. I like seeing room in front of him behind me. Allows me to do what I need to do. And, uh, if it works, great. If it doesn't, it's alright. I gave it my best. Bad turn two right there. A little bit shallow for that one. Finally sorted it out for P2 for now. Though that uh, movement up high indicates to me they might be trying to get another run. Potentially.
I am pushing a little harder than I did earlier, especially with less laps to go. But I'm not overdoing it. I don't want this thing to fall off a cliff before the end of this one. If the uh, first half of the race was a soft, then this is more of a medium. Not quite driving hard. Driving medium. <laughs> I think I'd rate the setup a medium too. It's okay. I think I would prefer it be a little looser, but it's not terrible either. Definitely liked the Xfinity setup a lot more, but it could be I just enjoyed the way it drove a little bit more too. But we're driving medium. <laughs> Side by side up ahead, and they're running into each other. Probably because that lap truck is just sitting right in the middle. What is this guy doing? Come on, man. So this out. Not gonna do something stupid. Clear up top. That lost us a lot of time. Not as much as five, though. Not a great effort from that lap truck. He's gonna drive in hard, keep it in front of me. It's fine. Just uh, throwing the idea out there, seeing how it feels. Five's off pace though. Sorry, there's six things in the room. Hmm. They're going through turn and three and four so much better than the five right now. Getting really nice turn down in the middle of uh, one and two to get a good exit. Kind of trying to use that, maybe even running a lane higher around the track. Might be something to to that. Maybe that's uh, where I should have been the whole time. Not quite sure. That lap time was 24.9. Feeling good right now, though. I think we should be able to pass this five by the end of the race, especially if he's going to do that. Inside. Clear. He's driving in no particular lane, I guess. And he's gone. Uh-huh. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Great job. No idea what's going on. Is he um, next to me right now? What the hell? Sure were. All of a sudden, you're right next to me. I'm glad nothing happened. Yeah, I'm just trying to mind my business and get out of the power and go. Sorry about that. Nothing you can do about that. That's good. We survived. Alright. Let's get by him. I think I need to pass on the outside, fortunately. Just don't know if I'm going to get the runoff otherwise. A little tougher to pass than I kind of expected. 
Sanders, it's closing you down. The gap has come down to 0.9. 13 on the wall, coming down. I don't know where he is going to try to be. Absolute chicken streakers here today. Much faster than five right now, but we just keep losing to him because of the situations that we're being put in. P6. Five left to go. The lap time was at twenty-five point two. I don't want to be on the low side. That was a this is uh, sketchy. What are we doing? Outside. Stay low. It's gone again. Stay low. Oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to pass him because I because of these situations here where I can't even see where he is. You've got two left to go. Dude, why are you racing me, bro? Come on. Two laps remaining. You've just done a 25.5. Come on, get a run on him. Let's get it. Outside. Keep low. Last lap. Keep low. Ugh. Oh, can't outside. get it done. Clear. Car outside. Clear up top. White flag. Last lap. Outside. Still there. Clear high. <sighs> well, that kind of sucked. P6. There's the chicken flag. Chicken flag. <sighs> oh, well. I still got sixth place, I guess. But I have more of a chance to try to pass. I have my chances. I would have had more chances. Uh, so I'm talking about the internet that last few laps and race day. Just uh, damage is pretty bad there. That's all right. Uh, I had my chances either way, and I couldn't get it done. So good race. Yeah, I smacked the wall on the race as you saw, and it's affecting me bad the rest of the way. Makes sense. Yeah, I had my chances. I probably, uh, I might have been able to have more time to set it up had he not been gone for a while. But uh, whatever. A eighty-one, eighty-five. We got sixth place. That's perfectly fine. Um, I think he's probably fast. He was faster than us if he had a clean truck. Jerry, maybe they hit you going on the back just a little bit. Just trying to get a little bit of slack. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. I think there was somebody else he hit. I don't think he's talking to me. I didn't notice if he actually hit me, though. <laughs> maybe he did on his end and then uh, didn't happen to me or not. Hey, one of two people with zero incidents. G. Willikers, 2018. For the couple of people, that's pretty wild. We definitely had some interesting lap traffic, that's for sure. Um, we'll see where some of those incidents came from. Those are some high numbers. So, 
lap two. Pretend wall, I don't think that was real wall. And then the ten's gonna get loose, get the inside wall. Six, the other guy that had no incidents this race does get the wall a little bit there though. Twelve gets loose and just it never really seems to grip back up for him. Ends up all the way into the inside wall. One gets the nose on the eight, and then just prediction code, I think. With some side by side contact. That's some interesting driving. So what happens here? He goes up and hits the wall. Loose, maybe that heats the tires up, so whenever he gets back on throttle and then kind of straddles that seam, it sends him to the outside. I think a combination of factors just made that very unpleasant to control when he put the throttle down. Ten wall. Had a couple of interesting uh, internet connections in this one, I think. There's the five getting that damage. I needed him to do that again. Thirteen's getting a wall a little bit on the straight, and then he hits the apron and inside wall. We see we've seen that a couple times now out of different people. Wall on entry it looks like just a bit. Gene on the Toys R Us truck. Going real slow around the corner and then finding the wall. He just never had it hooked up on the racing line. That whole corner didn't look like. Fifteen didn't get it to grip. Or leader as of lap 34. Just trying to get everything. Get his best angle in the corner and tried to take a little bit too much, I think. Nine comes up on the 10, going way off pace. He didn't have to run in the back of him, certainly, but he just he gets surrounded by lap trucks. So 12's going real slow down there. And then he's thinking this lap truck's gonna go high, and for some reason he doesn't. Lap truck really should have gone high. And that's probably why this happens. Like, 10's gotta get out of the way. I can see why that happened now. Because you're coming up on this, you're thinking, okay, lap car's gonna get out of the way for me. And then he just continues to move down the track in front of him. Like, that's not very good. Very rough lap traffic in this one. And then uh, I have to go around his outside as he rolls for a while. Why are we seeing this? I don't know. Uh, that's close racing. I think the four probably... Mm, tough to say. I think that's just really close racing. The seven wasn't giving an inch, and the four wasn't giving an inch, and uh, there were no inches left to spare, I think is what you say with that one. Maybe the tiniest bit of net code on top of that is the cherry on top, and then you've got some contact. Because I think, uh, yeah, never actually even touched. And if they were gonna touch, it was gonna be even lighter than it ended up being. So, got us two spots at the time. Oh, interesting. The four couldn't hold on to it. That's kind of interesting. He was already slowed down so much, I'm surprised he was unable to hold on to that. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Just never could gather it up. I guess they're running really loose setups. It's a little bit of damage. Everybody else kind of gets around it. As he rolls it for a while. Just gonna have to watch this because it'll probably keep showing it to us because he's going backwards. Thinks uh, incidents are still happening. Finally gets it stopped. Just some wall. 
Ooh, they got that one pretty good. Very poorly done by the 12 there. Is that even for position? Because I know the 14 was a lap car at one point. I don't know if it even was. Like, you got 12, 18th, 8, or, you know, 18th, 14th. And the 12 just does not hold the line on the bottom at all. Comes up and kills the 16. This 16's a weapon, man. I'm sorry, but that's pretty bad. Like, you've got someone, I assume, on the lead lap coming up. I mean, if I'm the, uh, hmm, if I'm the, uh, 17 here, I'm probably with that kind of, like, awkward, like, I'm not there yet, but I'm gonna catch up to him type thing. Probably enter high there and get a run. So that way you can kind of almost do like a crossover by the time you get to the exit, but I don't know. He's so slow, so off pace. Like, may he might have still just ended up on the outside of him anyway, but... They end up side by side. The 16's got a lot of wheel in it trying to catch it, I guess, and then for some reason... He just stops turning all together right here and then just goes straight into the wall. It's almost like a steering went out or something. I have no idea. But he uh, wrecks again. He was one of the two with a lot of incidents. Dean looking kind of weird on <laughs> pace laps here or uh, caution laps. Mm. And then the two gets in the back of the 18. That's what I was talking about before, when I mean, you get the fast guys in the back. You end up with these situations. He just didn't wait long enough for the 18 to be able to gather it up. Just runs him over. And more mysterious, no reason caution laps, I guess. What are these guys doing, man? What is that? Did he do that on purpose, or...? Okay, they get out of the pits. I'm trying to see if anything incited that. Just not paying attention, maybe? Yeah, he's just not paying attention. Like, you can hear he's still on the throttle for so long. And then he tries to slow down and just doesn't. Like, this guy's, like, playing Candy Crush on his phone while he's driving or something. I don't know. He's not having the best race, though. Eleven into the wall. I think 12's gonna hit the wall real hard again. Yeah, he's probably just racking up two X's doing that. And then he's kind of like driving in front of... Is that a lead lap car? No. Still driving in front of him though. And then he's... My goodness. This lap traffic, this race, man. So this is the battle for second. This guy's just driving right in the middle of the track. Just absolutely all over the place, hitting the apron. He's in the middle of the track. And then he decides he's going to be on the high side of the track. And then he hits the wall and then bounces off down into the middle of the track again. <laughs> like, that's definition chicken streak right there. That's exactly what, like, Nick talks about. <laughs> you just got lap cars who probably aren't trying to be like that, but just not holding a line, not being predictable, and then causing problems. And then the five just absolutely has to smack on the brakes, and then I do too. Though to a lesser extent, and then I wasn't going to just absolutely uh, send it three wide right there. That was just going to be way too dangerous. 
I could have like tried to send it in, but I don't know like what the 12 is going to do. He's already proven he's going to be unpredictable, so I'm not going to throw away my race trying for something I might not even be able to keep. Here we got more lap traffic. That looked pretty net, Cody, though. We got the leader coming. Nine probably should be closer to the wall. Like, I feel like the one gave him plenty of room. But the nine's not quite up to the wall and a pretty big net code, but still more on the nine for not getting all the way up to the wall, especially when there's lead lap traffic coming. So here's. I guess the 13 over driving, or I don't know what's going on here. Like, he underdrives entry and then still gets into the wall. And then I'm having to be real careful, because I don't know if he's going to bounce off the wall, come down and get me or something, so I'm giving him, like, an acre. <laughs> That's who the, the 5 was apologizing to. He was just trying to, uh, he said side draft. I don't know why you would need to side draft a lap car, but... Just getting alongside them, and then they're running into each other. I thought I might have an opportunity here, but I just could not get it to grip up on the bottom lane. Just not even at all. So, it, it's just like, uh, there's nothing I can do with the uh, the bottom side. If I try to do anything with the, with the low side, I'm just going to get tight and uh, drift up and run into somebody, so... I was trying to find a way to get to the outside. Unfortunately, I could never really get there well enough. But uh, still, P6, not so bad. I'll take it. Uh, we'll lose about six I rating or so, but that's fine. It was clean. We were one of two people with no incidents, so um, I'm proud of that, at least. I think that's a solid run overall. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. That was some more Rockingham. Great track. Um, I pre... I Preferred the Xfinity drive a little bit more. I like the way that drove a little bit more, but still pretty good in this truck. Even if it's just a little tighter, I think. But uh, still uh, worth your time. So, appreciate your time. And I hope you have a good one. I will see you later.